Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it is time to play more Outpost Engine Gear. When I first started playing this, recording these videos, I thought, all right, let me get together a four or five, maybe five episode little preview series so people can see what the game is all about. You know, it's really early in the development still. There probably isn't a whole lot implemented. And here we are in episode nine. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like we still haven't scratched the surface, right? So we've got our satellite. And maybe when I placed this down, I was thinking, okay, we've we've seen kind of kind of towards the end of the game here. We've we've built the big structure and now it must be coming to an end. But man, I couldn't have been more wrong. The satellite is just a gateway into um a tech tree. Now the length of the tech tree, I have no idea how long this tech tree is or how much we're going to be able to research in here or not. Um, but I, and I, you don't get to see the whole tech tree right now. I don't know if that'll change in the game. I hope it doesn't. I actually like not being able to see all the stuff that I can research. So as we're unlocking uh, individual things in the tech tree, new options pop up. And the tech is expensive. It's meaningful. There are meaningful choices here because the data cubes that you need to unlock this research take quite a while to put together. So, you know, there's several games where factory games where you're generating research or science packs and they're just, they're coming so fast once you have them automated that picking the research just becomes not that big of a deal. You can just queue up three or four things right away. And within a matter of, you know, 10 minutes in game, you, you've just researched three or four things, not the case here. <laughs> so <clears throat> you've really got to work for these data cubes and each data cube has to be processed to get your research point. Anyway, so I'm really enjoying this content. We have only, or enjoying this game. I hope you're enjoying the content, uh, but I'm enjoying putting it together. So we've automated a few things already. We've got two ores that we are feeding into molecular analyzers to gain data cubes. And then we started these last few episodes automating um, basically the building blocks for our factory. So we first we automated the uh, rock blocks here and I'll, you can see me, I'll scroll over them to here on the toolbar on the bottom. That's just helping us level the ground. And so placing belts becomes a little easier. That allowed us to actually create this incline last episode. I think we put the rocks underneath so we could place these belts up like this. And then I just chipped them out and the incline stays. So that's super nice. Then after the blocks, we automated our, uh, I think we did the tin plates maybe next. And now we're using those tin plates to automate the construction of the conveyor belts. So we've got wire that we automated coming in, copper coil, and we've got our tin plates that are coming kind of slow. We may need to up that. Or, and then we've got an, our first assembly machine, which can take up to three ingredients and spit out uh, a product. And in here in our copper box, let me get off of the stone blocks here. And if I come into here, we now have conveyors being stored up. And so we don't have to manually create those. Cool. And like I said, I don't think we've scratched the surface. Let's go back to the research. Let's get back into our play here. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll let this uh, establish its earth link. And I think we should do the silica extraction. And again, I mentioned before, I think that's going to get us one step closer to uh, solar power. I'm just guessing. Let's see what we get. Silica shards, sand and sand. Okay, well, we'll see what this is all about. Now, what did that unlock for us? Okay, automation two, we know about that. That's going to allow us to create um, higher level assemblers that can take more products uh, or assemble from multiple ingredients. Okay, logistics two, an improved inserter blueprint that we haven't seen yet. That might be faster. Lithium processing. We saw that we haven't researched that yet. Bulk transportation by a cable claw. We saw that we haven't done it. Ceramics. We don't really know. This could also be a component of the, uh, solar panels, assuming there are some, so could this electronics gain 
knowledge on how to manufacture electronic circuits. Then we got lights, grants you the street lamp blueprint, which is an electrical light. But again, these research points are hard to come by, at least uh, so far they have been. So we got to think about what we would want to do next. I really want to get solar panels, but I don't know what it's going to take to do it. Um, this says build batteries. We've got a few different candidates that could possibly lead to solar panels. And I, to be honest, don't know that solar panels are in the game, but I'm just assuming they are because there's batteries here. Grants you the manufacturer blueprint, large structures. Okay. We don't need that. Yet we don't need an improved inserter. Bulk transportation we don't need yet. I'm saying ceramics or electronics. And uh, maybe maybe electronics we try next. We'll need 10 research points for that. We've got one. <laughs> so let's, why don't we do that coal and at least get one more resource being fed into a molecular analyzer. We have that one coal deposit that's way up the hill here, way back there. You can see the torch right where in the middle of the screen. I say we put down a mine. We run this power pole out if we can. It's already got four connections. We'll have to see if it can take another one. If not, we'll just, we'll, we'll make it work. Get power out there, get uh, a molecular analyzer out there, and maybe we can even get by without a belt. We might be able to get by with one single inserter also. So a miner, an inserter, and then our molecular analyzer, and then maybe one more inserter and a copper box to store our data cubes. I think that's what we should do. Um, and then we can jump to maybe automating the inserters or the bronze bars. So those two are candidates as well. We got to keep our eye on the fungal mold too. So we saw last episode, just this big old lump of uh, mold surrounding a plant, kind of a gross looking uh, flower. And it said, it told us that pollution is what causes it. Now I'm hoping they don't crop up all over the island, even where we're not polluting. I'm assuming it's only going to be near the factory, but we got to keep an eye out on that. That thing popped up out of nowhere. At least for me, I didn't notice it. And it took a fair amount of time to chip it away. Let's see if we, did we even get fungal? Ooh, look at this. We've got all this mycelium in our inventory, a whole bunch of it, 79 of that. Now, I don't know if we can use that for anything. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know if we can use that for anything. We may want to build a couple copper boxes and clean out our inventory. Let's do some of that. It's a little bit of housekeeping work. I'm going to go fetch copper because that's just what we do. Boom and throw that in my smelter. Grab the copper out of there that we have. Boom and boom. And then, yeah, let's see. Do I have a copper box? I've got two of them already. So let me pop one down here just to dump some junk. And by junk, I mean that mycelium stuff for sure, because I don't know how we're going to use that, but I don't want to necessarily just throw it on the ground. All right, let's see. How do I get into this guy again? Boom. Escape. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. I don't need to carry that around. I probably need just about everything else here, though. We should start smelting this tin. I've got a bunch of tin on hand. So once that copper is done smelting, maybe we'll throw the tin into our little manual furnace here. And then... uh and then combine that with some copper and manually get some more bronze. But I think, well, I think bronze might be the next thing to try and automate. But again, I keep getting distracted. Let's do the coal into a uh, molecular analyzer. So let's build one of these. I need five copper blocks. I just took bars out of here, I think, didn't I? Let's grab the copper bars and do five copper blocks here at our wood cutter or our stone cutter. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's come in here. What else do we need? Uh, I think we got everything. So let's do that. What are we doing on inserters? Hopefully I can get two more of these. 
Belts were fine. We got those automated now. But we might take an opportunity to grab a few more downward ones. Let's do it. One, two, three, and we'll keep 10 of each. On hand, we've got tons of regular conveyors. That's awesome. We don't need to craft those by hand anymore. Hooray, hurrah. We've got a lot of tin plates. So hopefully we'll use these up over time. We've got sticks taking up inventory space. We can only store those later. In fact, we can probably store a few of them now. Let's uh, let's move some sticks into here. Oh, we've only got four slots in a copper box. All right, let's drop another copper box and then uh, we'll make another copper box too. Boom, and can I stack them? Ooh, it looks like I cannot stack them. Man, that's a bummer. I kind of would like to stack it, but I guess I cannot. All right, we'll just put it in the back here. I'm going to get rid of just some of these sticks I've got just to free up inventory space. We haven't tried the chisel yet. We'll have to do that at some point. All right, let's go get rid of some of this tin now. And then we'll make bronze. We've only got two bronze bars on hand. We've got tons of tin on us, but we'll get rid of this ore that's kind of fogging up our inventory. What else do we need? We've got our molecular analyzer. We want, we've got three inserters. We've got plenty of belts, power poles. Let's see. I've only got, well, I got 10. That's a lot. That's plenty. Let's see what it says about these. Okay. Connects at most four other points. Okay. Same thing here. It connects at most four other points. So we're going to have to uh, do a little bit more with that. Let's build some wood blocks. I think that's going to be up here. That's going to allow us to get some more power poles. So let's build some more of those. And then let's go ahead and build a few more power poles. I might do 10 actually. And then we're fine on wire. Now we're using a lot of wire over for our conveyor belts, but all right. So of course, it is nighttime when I set out to do this. Did I have a miner? Did I, did I grab a miner? Nope. That's the last thing we got to go build. Let's do that. Boom and boom. And by miner, I meant electric drill. So we'll come up here. I can I gotta take off of one of these power poles. Looks like this one's only got three connections. So let's do that. Let's take off of there. I should have built more torches too. Uh, let's put a power pole down here. Let's grab our wire. Boom. And boom. And then let's do one more power pole out this way somewhere. Somewhere nearby. That's probably fine wire to you and wire over to you. I can barely see that, but it's working. Uh, I've got a torch here. Let's bring it in close like there. That might help a little bit. All right, miner, mining drill. How about right anywhere is fine as long as it's on the coal. Let's see, that's not bad. We can do it up here. Uh, I do there. That's even better. I like that. All right. Now that we have that, we could build up a platform here. We've got plenty of stone and we are mining more of it. I think it's going to be an infinite resource for us. So let's build out a platform here. And we can, uh, we can work to make this so it's climbable also so we can get to it. <laughs> Oops. Let's see, can we get up there? That works. Drop that there. And again, this is gonna be for our molecular analyzer. So let's run power, let's see where that is. I'm just going through my toolbars, boom. Power from you to you, 
There goes the coal. Hopefully it's producing coal. We'll find out. Yep, no problems. And I think we can get by with an inserter. Let's do it. Taking from there and then our molecular analyzer. Let's see, I don't, do I have one of those already on the toolbars? There it is. Boom, and we want this guy right next door. I think I'm gonna have to rotate it like that. In fact, that might do it right there. All right, that guy's gonna need power as well. Jump back to our cable. Looks like we might be, are we in the middle of nighttime? Yeah, we're still in the middle of the night. All right, and now we just need to dump these out. And this time I actually have to do some mining, I think, to clear out some space. Because I think we have to uh, dump these out on a belt, right? Let's see, I cannot tell. Need to come down here or not. It's always a little tricky in a voxel world, especially when it's not the cube kind. So that I need to fill that in. Let's see. Boom. That's nice and flat. That's flat. We're going to dump a conveyor out here. Whoops. I thought I had it selected. I did not. Let's chip that away. See you later. Take it back. Out you go with your data cubes. And we just need a place to put them. If I can come out sideways here. Let's go grab some more stone. And create a platform here. Early on, we're going to get a bunch of data cubes out of this. And then it's going to trickle to an almost standstill. <laughs> but we can just let this run and we don't need to think about it while we go and automate other parts of our factory. All right, now did I bring another copper box? I don't know, I may have spent all of my copper boxes. And I did, so let's plunk down the inserter just for giggles. We'll put it there and then I gotta go run down and get a copper box. So let's go do that and maybe build some torches while I'm down there. Okay, these guys are working away. Seems a little slow now, right? Is that because, oh yeah, this is, we're doing the molecular analyzing. And so it's using up all of that. Oh, wow. That's a problem, huh? <clears throat> so you can see what's happening here. The reason we're getting starved out on plates is because that molecular analyzer is actually chewing up these uh, tin ore pretty quick. So we're gonna need to fix that. But let's go finish the task at hand. I'm gonna grab a copper box or two. What do we got smelting in here? Let's keep this moving. Get a couple of copper boxes built. And then what are we going to need? We're going to need another miner, another drill. Oh, we need stone for that. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Let's go get stone. Yeah, we need to fix the uh, tin plate situation. And unfortunately, all we're getting in here are the blocks, which are good. We like these. These are great. They stack pretty high, too. Nice. Look at that. Over 287. Single stack. That's nice to know. But I also want some rocks. Let's see. How does this look? Can I put another? Maybe I can do this while I'm here. Can we, can we do this? Do I have the insert? I'm going to need another inserter. Whoops, that was interesting. Oh, I think I scrolled. All right, maybe this will get us the rocks. So we'll have a rock supply as well. Because occasionally it looks like we need them. And these are a pain to mine. I don't, I'm not crazy about doing these by hand. So 
So it looks like I have to have, oh, let's see if I escape. Can I, nope. Just trying to see if there's a way I can mine these without having to go to a empty spot in my toolbar. Now, if I go to an empty spot in my toolbar here and then I click, it starts letting me mine by hand. So that's not the end of the world and it kind of makes sense. Let's grab a bunch of these. And we'll head back. We can maybe see if there's some in here and I doubt there's any in here. All right. Back to it. Jump around. Let's grab copper. We're here. Might as well. Boom. Back over here. And what else did we need? Let's see here. Kind of lost my train of thought. <clears throat> we needed another mining drill. That's what we needed. Boom. We probably need some inserters while we're down here. We need bronze bars, but I've only got two more bronze. So we're going to have to uh, get that moving. Let's do it. We've got tons of tin. How are we doing on copper? We don't have a ton of copper. But let's just chew it up and make some bronze. We know we're going to need more. And what does it need? Gears, probably? What are we going to do with these guys? It needs copper bars. I better take some of those copper back. Let's uh, do that. Keep some of this copper. And bronze gears. Let's grab the bronze. Boom, boom. Bronze gears. Again, this is one that has a fairly long production chain. The bronze gears. Let's go ahead and grab a couple more inserters. And then let's go fix our issues. Let's finish the coal into... Um, molecular analyzer and get those data cubes stored in a copper box. That's our first task. Let's see if we can get up here. Boy, I'm jumping like a nut. All right. Those data cubes are waiting. And I thought I built more than one copper box. Oh yeah, I used one. All right. We'll grab the data cubes here. We'll just wait for these guys to load in while we're up here. Again, once you start a new material, you get a few data cubes right off the bat, which is nice. And then it screeches to a halt and goes very, very slow to get data cubes. So this one only needs to do four. I'm just going to go ahead and grab what we've got, four data cubes. I'm going to hold on to these for a moment. We need to go fix our tin for a situation. We need to basically drop another miner down. And that'll be easy enough. We've got room right here. We built it. So where are you? You're right there. So this will be easy enough. This will be actually really easy. That's fine. And let's take up these. Boom and boom and just drop this guy right here. I think that'll do it. And I just need to power him up. All right, these power poles are full, so we're gonna have to get creative here and disconnect something. I'm not sure how to disconnect. Can I, can I just right click on this on the wire? Hey, that worked, nice. All right, just had to right click on the wire. We're gonna need another power pole here basically. So let's drop this down and let's connect up the wire and get everything wired back up. This one will go here now. And then this one will go, where was the other one here? Was it here? Yep. And then now this one only has two. Let's pop a wire down here to our miner. And we should be back at it here. Now we got to keep an eye on the power. Let's see what this guy says for the power network. Okay. 60. Okay, 71 out of 72. So I think we're okay on power. It looks like it's churning away. So right now we're just operating on one combustion generator. So that's going to help. So now we've got, you know, plenty of 
iron ore feeding our molecular analyzer. That's getting us the data cubes here. And then we've got this miner. We've kind of now dedicated it to the iron plates. So we should see, or tin plates. And we can see that that's increased the frequency of the tin plates quite a bit. And that'll help our belts, our automated belt construction. Oh, I wonder if we can feed um, that mold into an analyzer. Maybe that's next. Let's grab these two data cubes. So we, let's see. Remember we put a bunch of this fungal mold in here? Mycelium. I don't know if there is a good use for that. I guess we'll wait and see if there's a good use for it. But if there isn't, maybe we just put some copper boxes chained together by inserters and have that mold be fed into a molecular analyzer and we can dispose of it that way and get some data cubes for the effort. We need to keep an eye on that mold. I'm not sure how or when, or what frequency it creeps up, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. I think it can become a bigger problem as we go. All right. I've got a bunch of data cubes on me. Let's head down. We can check this box. Here we got one in here too. <clears throat> Not bad, seven. Let's pop them in. Just going to hit inventory to bring this up. That gives us eight research points. A little, not enough to keep going. I suppose, yeah, electronics takes 10. I want to do electronics first. We'll see what that unlocks. And then maybe ceramics. And again, I'm just blindly chasing after solar. I'm not sure where it is or if it even exists, but I got to think it does. <clears throat> so I'm trying to pick research that seems to make sense for solar. All right, what's next? We just sped up our data cube production a tiny bit way back there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Let's see. Do we want to do bronze? The so bronze is tin plus copper. And, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of smelting. Smelting the tin, smelting the copper, and then smelting the two together. That gets us bronze, and then we can pass that bronze on to... Um, I'm guessing it would be a constructor, because that takes a single ingredient, and that could churn out the bronze gears for us, and we wouldn't have to mess with that. Let's go grab this bronze while we have it. And... The other thing we could do is just set up copper and, you know, copper smelting. We keep on, you know, needing copper. So let's see, how is this miner doing, right? This one always backs up. It's feeding a molecular analyzer and that's it. But there's always extra copper here. We've got coal right next door, right? So why don't we, why don't we put a splitter on this? Why don't we put a splitter on this coal, get a furnace down here, and then maybe route some of this copper from the mining drill. I probably have to come over this way and smelt some copper. And then at least we don't have to chase, we don't have to keep feed, manually feeding the copper uh, into our furnace here. We can come by and at least grab the copper bars. That's a start. Uh, and that would be, that would be a time saver, I think. And it wouldn't be that hard to do. It's just an inserter, a belt, a furnace maybe over here. And then I can probably even get by with an inserter, right? I don't even, I almost don't even need a splitter. <laughs> I bet I could just get by with an inserter taking and then putting it on a belt and then feeding a furnace down here somewhere. Kind of think I want to do that. So why don't, let's see how much time we got in this episode. We are just about out of time. Why don't we set out to do that? Maybe next episode. Again, I can't believe how many episodes we're getting out of this. And I, we're not even halfway done. I'm pretty sure. So we'll see how far we continue this preview uh, season. Again, when I started, I was thinking this was only going to be like a four or five episodes max. But I'm having a ton of fun. And there is much, much more gameplay to this game than my first impression when I thought what I thought we were going to be getting out of the game. 
So there's very little information about it out yet. This probably is an exclusive series at the time that it airs. I don't think there's any other real content other than the developer uh, himself posting videos. Um, so yeah, you're getting an early look if you're seeing this when it's recorded. But yeah, wow, a ton of fun. Does it scratch the factory itch? Absolutely. Um, is it innovative? I think there's some innovation here for sure. I, the tech tree is one thing that stands out to me right away. I like not seeing the whole tech tree. And I like that your choices in the tech tree are meaningful. And those choices come, there's some time that lapses <laughs> between those choices. You don't have an abundance of science packs that you can just, you know, queue up into a lab, hundreds of science packs just ready to go and research 20 things in 10 minutes. So it's, it's very different from that. I like that quite a bit. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. If you've made it this far in the series, you must be somewhat interested. Anxious to hear what you think, and then even better, I mean, I appreciate the feedback on the videos and the content, but jump into the Discord. You know, if you haven't gotten on Discord, uh, don't be shy. Give it a try. It's real easy to set up and install, and then that gives you a chance to provide feedback to um, the developers. They're always willing, you know, every game I've been on on Discord, the developers are always willing to hear feedback. You know, you do this kind of work, you develop software and you don't, you put it out there. You don't always know how it's being received, you know, unless you hear back from people, you know? So I'm sure the developer would appreciate any impressions, any feedback and suggestions you have. So jump on the discord if you, if you would, <laughs> if you're willing and go ahead and share that. Anyway, that's enough of my babbling for now. I'll end the episode here. Uh, this is GliderCat signing off saying I will see you in the next episode of Outpost Engineer.